Finality has been shut up, so. In the meantime, let's look at our collectibles. I haven't gotten to yet. Secrets! Well, let's look. Oh, wait, let's look. Go, go. Someone could potentially disarm me during the raid. Mm, what is this one? Right. Founded Pazuzu. What is this one? Ultraviolet. Actually, that's really good to know. I'm happy I looked over this. The ultraviolet light will damage them. That is important to know. So I can, like, get rid of bodies. We haven't brought up the ultra ultraviolet light again, though, which is the interesting thing. I staked. This one we used... Way to stab him. There's some that I'm missing. No, sorry, these are the pictures. So these are all the premonitions. I've, I'm not looking at secrets yet. I may have missed this one. It was fallen. What was this one? Wait. There was a premonition that he could potentially die if you don't cut. Which, if you know Until Dawn, spoiler, there's a similar issue. Um, there's another situation where you're faced with a character who has to potentially let another character fall from a high spot. If you let them go, they will live, and you will live. If you do not let them go, there's potential that both of you will die. I Obviously, some, there's like some extra steps there, but it's another situation where the better option is letting the person drop. Does shit as that feels. Okay, more spookies are gonna come out. I'm happy that I looked over these because it's good to know that the um, ultraviolet light is gonna come in handy. She could potentially set up a tripwire. Okay, good to know. Part of why I set them on the sides rather than in the middle was to try and prevent that premonition after I saw it. Um, don't know how to pre prevent that one. <laughs> Let's see that one again. How do we stop that one? Uh, keep people's hands away from the neck. Uh, very vague. <laughs> don't know how I can prevent that one. <laughs> that just seems like something that's not exactly like a, an easy to do situation. Just keep all loose, just keep all monster hands away from neck. It seems like I found, a, I found quite a few secrets though. I didn't, I definitely missed a bunch. Well, what did we get? These two are related. This is fucking difficult to read. Some of these got like little. All right, creature saliva has a point. Poison effect. I remember that. What is this one again? Yep, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that the gas masks and the and the gas that was mentioned related were connected. I'm I'm happy I made that connection. I definitely noticed that. Um. Ancient Sumerian demon god Pazuzu. There's something I missed earlier that I could have got. Well, I think it would have been earlier. I'm not totally sure because this doesn't entirely feel chronological. Yep. This was Mary. This was definitely Mary. Yep. 
and a bloodless corpse that was, um, I can't remember, but it was another one of the investigators. And also what I think happened to Clarice, which is why she was so pale. Diggers who excavated the site were spooked by rumors of demonic possession. That's fair. Oop. Which is reasonable. I mean, demons and shit. Dynamite. But. A bundle of dynamite with the detonators discreetly removed. Somebody sabotaged the charges. Okay, so the build, the dig team was planning on just taking the whole place down. Now that I think about it. I wasn't sure if it was... Because we just found the location, so I wasn't sure if it was... um, If they were using it as like a World War II base. If there was some sort of attack going on. But no, they the, the archaeologists were just like, no, fuck this place. But had no interest. Oh, there was a barb hidden in it. Okay, I didn't realize that. But still, don't fuck with pagan shit. Don't do it. Um. Discovery of a strange world under the temple. Well, we journey, um, uh, journal entry indicates how Mary Hodgson fell ill. In the strike. Yeah. And Mary was the one that got staked. Archaeologists found something mysterious deep below the temple. It's like the hidden world thing. What's this one again? Bandit briefing. Aid workers have gone missing near the Ira Iranian border. Rooted and dumped beneath the caves. Uh, in the caves beneath the farm. Right, that's what we found earlier. We found that earlier in the base. And we found Mary. Oh, sorry, Marie. We found Marie. We found her ID card. Anyway. Which does give some proof that she was one of the people that died down here. But we found evidence of their bodies. So good to know. Yep, here we go. And then we found the ID card. Related to Marie. Um... What else do we have? Alright, all the things that have cataloging labels on them. There's only one thing we're missing with that. I didn't realize it had an ancient city on it. That would explain what's underneath the temple. Because if there's some sort of hidden world, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the ancient city that it is being brought up. Yep, the cuneiform tablet. What other things did we, did we see? Oh, a list of tricks. Yeah, I remember that. All the different things potential to the um, uh, giant skinless murder bats. Well, I'm happy I decided upon sticking with that because it was fucking accurate, man. A hold stone depicting people praying. Something in the sky. I believe something- oh, it's like, I guess the moon god. They mentioned that in the intro. Um. And we found that ancient helmet in the intro as well. Dang, I missed a lot of secrets. But then again, this game is meant to be, like, replayed multiple times. I don't know if I'm gonna replay it today. I don't think I want to. But... That does make me curious. Because, I mean, I like vague spoilers. If I do end up finding spoilers, I prefer vague ones. So, like, to know if there's multiple endings or mainly just stuff like that. If there are multiple endings, I just want to know if there are multiple endings. So that I can, like, know just accordingly. And apparently this one has, I think, six possible endings to the game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Six possible endings.
Right, and these are the other games in the anthology. And then there's another one that's coming up. House of Ashes. And then the fourth one has already been announced, and it's called The Devil in Me. And it's about a serial killer. So I'm excited about that. I'm still really hoping they don't completely fuck over this with the mention of the psychedelic mushrooms. Like, that makes me really salty. <sighs> it makes me really salty. I do not want them to, like, take all of the fun of the giant murder bats away by, like, by, by sciencing it. I don't know. I'm that person that, um, if you go see a magic, a magic show and you try to explain the trick afterwards, I will plug my ears. Like, I don't want to know. There is not enough magic in this world. <laughs> We need, we need to keep whatever magic we have, damn it. Okay, let's get into it, man. I have a fresh bowl of popcorn for our, for our movie night. Look, it's it says it's a screenplay. Our movie, I love to have popcorn. All right. Oh, wait, this is one of the premonitions. Yeah, that's the premonition I can't necessarily change. Or those, there's no immediately obvious way to change. I guess be careful when a fire is happening, but that should be like a general rule of thumb for any situation where a fire is happening. Is You should just always be careful if there's a fire. I don't know how to... Ooh, are we just gonna find a bunch of secrets right now? Okay. Battle tablet. Got it. So, more things that have been cataloged. I'm assuming that- Oh, come on now. Oh, dip. If they hit us, my best hunch is it'll be from the chasm. Yeah? You feeling optimistic, Lieutenant? Mm hmm? We're facing an enemy we know zero about. An enemy of unknown size in their home turf. It's supposed to be us. Yep. I don't know how long it'll be us to hold them back. I didn't mean to trigger the next part. Radio's our best shot. I wanted to look at the things. Cavalry. We need to get up and get one. If there is a transmitter up there, it's gonna have a limited range. What the fuck else are we supposed to use, Jason? Trust our price and fuck you in the ass. You knew it was a better idea, and so shut up. <laughs> the whole point was to be like, this was not meant to be a big deal. Like, I, like it was not meant to be. We we minimally murdered people. That was the goal. There was limited murder. I mean, hey, look, we did lose people that we care about, but still, that was fucking inevitable, wasn't it? FAO Van Huten? New finds for cataloging. Clay jars, Acadian. Bone pipe, dagger, ornamented. Seated nude statue, starglyph, AJ. Vampires. They are vampires! But it gives me more of, like, primordial vampires, like vampire sort of deal. The specimen defies biology as we know it. How long have these entities lived beneath our feet? Do they awaken every few centuries to prey on us? The Acadians knew them, if only in ancestral memory. Pazuzu's form is clearly a depiction of them. I theorize that their attacks have informed the folklore of humanity itself, an aura myth that permeates across cultures. The winged demon, the horned satyr, the minotaur, the vampire. Yeah, I had a feeling. It was either that or the creature that shouldn't be named that was in Until Dawn. And I say, should not be named in respect to the culture. Because as per the culture, you're not supposed to say the name of that creature. Patient history, Mary. Yep, this is how Mary died. Age, sex, yes please. Um, 30th December. At 2 a.m., the temperature was 105.5 degrees Fahrenheit. 
sweating uh, went up. The pulse went up. The subject was awake, but not, like, present. Not lucid. Temperature went up. Jaundice says she had visions of darkness and that she can taste the color red. Slips in unconsciousness. Wake screams about monsters in the dark. Increasingly jaundiced and feverish. A pulse rapid, about 150 sleeping. Note, two days since exposure to the entity. So they're basically just, quite honestly, they're just documenting her changing. Because she, she turned. That, that was obvious by the body that we found. Which is interesting. Because it does get into the question of, like, with these creatures... Are, um, what's, what's the threshold for, for turning? Like, how much is required? Oh, hello. You're following me, Jason. Okay. 29th December. Pullman says the radio has been cut on Intel. Uh, giant murder bats wants us to cut off from the outside world. Aline fought in the giant murder bats. She's responsible. Personally, I still harbor doubts, giant murder bats, although without proof, everyone remains a suspect. All I can do now is place sentries, giant murder bats. Got it. It does make me wonder when they are turning, how- are, do they actively try and sabotage things? Like, is that a potential? Or is this just simply a situation of people panicking so intensely that they've ended up screwing themselves over? Look at this. There's two dig sites. They set up a fake dig site to draw a grave on. That is a good idea. They knew whatever was down here was special. That it's better that they had a fake dig site because Jesus Christ, this place is not a good idea to be in. Thank goodness they had a fake dig site. I mean, really. That would have been like the one of the worst possible outcomes if they had lots and lots of grave robbers because then we've got to deal with lots and lots of vampires! Is this what progresses? I'm gonna need Possibly. To get this up and running. I'll probably have to walk around to help get it up and running, though. Oh. That thing looks like it was sabotaged. Ooh. How would they do that? It was probably because so many people were infected that they realized it was better that nobody came to get them. Thank you. Good job, Sergeant. Pretty sure that was probably the situation. It does make me wonder if, like, what, it, once again, what is the limited amount of exposure? Yeah, like smoking is the biggest threat to my life. I mean, Fuck wrong with your life. it's good. It's nothing. It's just a ghost signal. Even without a transmitter, a radio picks up the same signal. It's just ghosts. So fix that transmitter. If we can establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, then we're one step closer to home. Yep. I don't know, man. I'm no technician. If Merwin was here, though, he could fix it. No shit. Embrace what sucks. Merwin's DED dead, and there was no chance of him surviving. I mean, maybe there was, but it wasn't going to come without sacrifices. Oh, he's alive. I have to give his wallet back. Oh my, are you even Can he put aside this fight for fucking No, they're not, you dumb piece of shit. Dude, 
Does he not know about the murder bats? Has this dude not seen any of the murder bats? No, don't Salim. They're just trying to get out from the fucking murder bats. Shit. Here come the murder bats. Get that transmitter working now. I need more time. And the guy came at the wrong time. Yeah, he shouldn't be alive. I need to keep his wallet. There's cards in there. I can use that. Here you go, JC Penny. I, I get some myself some slacks, damn it! I made my fucking slacks. Fresh, clean, crisp, beautiful slacks. Oh. Ouchies. You dumb cunt. Seriously? I hate this dude right now. Shoot his ankles! Don't. Don't even think about it. Why do you explain, Salim? Nature's ankles. Them ankles. I'm coming for your ankles. Okay, got it. Ooh. We're getting to near the end of the game, which means that if I fuck up any of these quick time events, anybody could die. Like just flat out single quick time event death. You dumb dumb. God fucking damn it. Gotta have a dick showing contest when they're fucking demons coming. UV light. Where is it? Where is it, you dumb bitch? Go, go, go. Iraqi. 
They got any chance they'll stay back. Yes, they the shit's about to get real in here. Wait. Rachel? Rachel? You're alive? Have any doubt, Marie? Why didn't you help him with the door, dum dum? Er Eric. Where's Eric? Rach. Nick, calm down. Rachel's already I'm said sorry. no multiple times. We followed climbing protocol. You had no other choice but to cut the rope. Ta da! We don't need to discuss it. We both died you have to understand that. yes i did i saw the premonition you good then i'd survive somehow thanks to the large pool of blood <laughs> it's him isn't it hooray for pools i understand you're not the brightest nick but even you must know what i'm talking about you've been fucking him haven't you yep <laughs> that's the best you got guys come on stop it I know it's him, Rich. I know. You better step off before I start swinging. Colonel or no colonel. We're seriously gonna do this with giant murder bats? I spent a long time waiting for you, Eric. Until? Until I had to move on. Yeah! Always loyal. Always loyal, huh? You weren't so loyal when we cut the rope. Oh snap! See you, Rachel. Thought we'd lost him. Who else made it through? It ain't good. Merlin's gone. So it's Thane. We got Joey. Mm hmm Clarice. We saw Clarice. She chose not to come with. What is it? Oh. Clarice was infected. Those things. I don't know how they she's, got inside. She's she's dead. I couldn't see the wrist. To leave her behind. She's dead. Did Joe knew Clarice is still out there. That's not Clarice anymore. I saw her changing before my eyes. Yep. I believe her. Same thing happened to Joe. Yep. I stabbed him through the chest. Through the metal pole. Make sure every shot counts. All right. Let's go back to the main temple. Yeah, America. Murica, Murica. Oof generator. Are we gonna do this shit in the dark? Seriously? We can't lose the generator. We're blind without it. I need help. You can't let any of those things through. Well, Rachel, go fucking fix it. Yeah, that's fair. I sure as shit didn't invite them. Hold the gate. I'll get the generator running. Thank you, Rachel. Fuck, that's all we need. Ye. Ye. Is this place mine? Not mine to know. Yep. There are bombs like fucking everywhere. Oh, quick time event? This is the final- yeah, this is the final get out. They always do this. Like, I had no- I had no interest in keeping a failing marriage together from the beginning. You can be sympathetic to someone's situation, but there's if when 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 a romantic relationship has fallen through, just stop. Just stop. Go 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 go. Eee! Oof. Hey. 
No, apparently. They're fucking vampires. Maybe don't provoke them. I know, they're vampires! Rachel, yes. That is Rachel. Oh god, we're switching between characters right now. That's why it keeps showing me shit. Worthless pile of shit. Yeah. Uh. I, I I think I did it. Yes. Get the detonator detonator ready. Go, my boy, girl, girl, my dude. Get the fucking generator ready. Oh, oh, it sucks because it's such a pretty door. The architecture is fucking gorgeous. But when you've got a murder bat infestation. They're breaking through the perimeter. You got any bright ideas? Now's the time. Come on, come on. There's gotta be something. Wait. Did we yeah. finally find the fucking TNT the shit? For the catacombs. We need to go down. Alan, in case you missed it, that ain't the way out. It's either that or we die where we stand. Yep. Everyone move to the east gate. Yep. I'm the lead. Fire. It's playtime. This wasn't one of your better ideas, Reed. Well, I tried. I want big shooty gun. Bang bang. Bang bang. Do the bang bang. Bang 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 bang. Now we're talking. Yes! Shooty gun! Shooty gun! Ba ba ba! Shooty gun! Whoop! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Dingus, somehow these rounds are still okay despite being here for fucking 70, 47, 57 years. Oh, I love the name of that achievement. The achievement was just Chekhov's gun. Anyone who doesn't know, Chekhov's gun is a theory that, like, if at any point in a story someone introduces the presence of a gun at some point, um, either it needs to be used or disarmed. At some point. And it will either be used or disarmed at some point. Like that's just, just how it works. So a lot of the time in plays, they'll they're like introduce a gun and it'll just sit on the set like the whole time for like a play or something. Charges, charges, yes. And since they were on the sides, we didn't get boomed. So, bonus points, my dude. Shh. Listen. What are we listening for, Jason? Can you hear them? Yes, probably. Flash must have cut us off. Yeah. Should keep moving. It's almost like we put those in a good location. Huh, I wonder who thought about that. We, and we don't know we don't know where Salim and Dar are. Hopefully Dar will stop being such a dumb cunt and realize that there's fucking murder bats. Seriously. Hello again. My friend will not have me. Yeah, I can see that. What happened up there? The Paracourt! Your friend's a little too jumpy for my liking. It's making me nervous. Lowering your weapon might help alleviate some of the tension. Just do it. Are you sure about that? Move. I fucking dare you. 
I feel like our uniforms are getting in the way of what could be a beautiful relationship. I agree, Salim. Mas Ahban, shut up! I say we drill these sorry looking motherfuckers. What do you think, Carl? Jason? At least this time it won't be in the back. Make the call, Colonel. We need their help. We do. Are the enemy making? Not right now. We have fucking murder bats to deal with. Okay, do you trust me yet? Them. We must get this door open. Why are you standing there? Help! Don't even think about it. Fuck, Jason. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Move! Come on, man. Go! Come on! Go! 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 Help them! I'll cover the corridor. Shit! No! Jason, you dumb bitch! Thank you. Yes! Fucking finally, Jason! Jesus Christ! Really wanted us to die to murder bats just because they're fucking from Iraq? Like, goddamn! Get a grip! Murder bats! Murder bats! Get over yourself! If a fucking supernatural entity wants to fuck you in the ass, you're gonna say, No! I'm in a war! I'm a marine! Fuck off, Marika! Get your shit together! He has a snake penis. Did you see the snake penis? He had a snake penis. There was a snake penis. I saw it. Don't think I didn't see it. There was a snake penis. Oh, fuck cakes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dar, you better not fuck us over, you dingus. You are now able to see the murder bats. Let's get ready, let's get ready. Ultraviolet light, ultraviolet light, ultraviolet light. Psychedelics, dingus. Seriously? You're gonna get concerned about some bitch in sandals and not save your friends? Now do you understand why you need to stop being a cunt, Dar? Good thing we didn't use our fucking guns or tie up people. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I don't really care if this guy dies. He, he wasn't a character that we had for a long time. But like, if we can save him, I guess. Okay. Fine. What are we looking at? Okay, we're Nick right now. Zomba? Whoa. A humanoid vampire? Crucifix, baby! They're fucking... Fucking... I, I hate the introduction of th that kind of shit. Is he dead? Is Nick dead? We have to deal with a dead Nick. Salim, do you see it too? Dumb bitch, get out of my way. I gotta save my new friend today. We're switching to Rachel? Oh no, someone else is going after Rachel. Help, Rachel! You can handle this, monkey. Honey, 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 do it. 
Shoot in the face. Up, please. Thank you. Let's be level, honey. Yay! We have a mildly positive relationship. Rachel now. No, no, no. Save the dum-dum. Save the dum-dum just cause- Fuck! Okay. Sorry, my mouse disappeared. It's like, oh shit. No, save the dum-dum. He's still a hot human fucking being. Just cause I'm not in love with him doesn't mean I can't save him. Oh shit. She dead. Is he dead too? How many people did I lose? Fuck, he was fine without me. Was he fine without me? Eh. I'm not gonna go back on my choices. Plus, this, once again, this last section, the, the last section in these games are always an opportunity for literally everybody to die. Like, it's the last push to possibly save anybody you can. And at this point, I really just want Salim to get up. <laughs> and maybe Murica Boy, because he's, he's, he's grown on me. Was that Dar or Salim? Oh. Would we lose? Look, see, there's the snake dick. Did we lose everybody? Is everybody dead? It was pretty hectic, so it was. I kind of got a poor gauge of it. And then there's always the weird situation where the good ending is them turning. You to mess with a marine. Yeah, Jason! Oh, and we have Salim. We lost Dar, though, but then again, we needed to keep his wallet, so. Eh. I come in peace. Don't you fucking move. We're gonna be friends, damn it. We're friends now. You alone? Suck Anyone it. Anyone else make it? It's all happened too fast. I think it's just you. It's just Lehman Jason? Me, I'm okay with that. She's fucking great. I don't mean you any harm. I swear. No shit. I'm the one holding the gun. Looking for trouble? No, we just, just said it wasn't. The gun. We don't have to be friends, but we can be allies. That's something I can get on board. I mean, I want to be friends, but I knew you wouldn't be on board with that, Jason, because you're a little bit too Murica for this situation. I kind of wanted to keep Eric. Ah. Love sick puppy. He wasn't going to keep his wife. That's just inevitable. Regroup with allied forces. Stay alert. Search for danger. Stay alert for danger. Search the ruins. Is there anything behind us? No, just a cool shot of him. Q. I think for one second you're trying to cross me. Best believe me. I've got a crowbar. I don't have a gun with me. You think I'm afraid of a jarhead? 
Look at the snake penis. That looks like our best way through. Yeah, probably. One of us holds up the gate. The other can slip through. Who's going? I mean, we could also, you know, fucking take turns. Go. Oh shit. Are you okay? Are we split up? What do you think? It's locked. I gotta find another way around. Well. Dar that cunt. Broke my fucking radio. How the fuck? I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. Ye. Like, and everywhere. Murder bats, man. You got any idea what we're dealing with? Murder bats. They're vampires. Ye. Not possible. What else are you gonna call them? Told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Giant murder bats. Yeah, you know you look like that. Okay, okay, go, 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 you better fucking save Jason. Hurry. I can't hold on. I swear to Christ. You almost killed me. Almost. Ugh, my relationship went down just because of that. What's the first thing you're gonna do when we get out of here? See my fucking son. Hold my son. How about you? What do you do? I'll probably just go for a drink. Yeah, it's reasonable. Yeah, honestly, at this point, I think everybody needs a fucking drink. You seem like you got your head screwed on. So I gotta ask, what the hell made you sign up with the Dom? What is the meaning of those markings in your hand? To honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. It's as good a reason as any. Damn good reason. The only reason. I I don't know about that, Jason. I have no grievance with you. Well, maybe you need to switch on the news. Mm. Listen. There was a man once who built his house on the bank of a river. Mm -hmm. When the floods came, the wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, insects bit this man's flesh. Hmm. Each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Mm -hmm. Your people chose this war, Jason. Yep. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. <gasps> this doesn't feel like a conversation to be having right now. Let's save this for once we get out of here. Like, pick your battles right now, man. Pick your fucking battles. Go, 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 go. Yes! Yes! Go, 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 motherfucker! Oh, thanks. You helped with the door. Ye. I'm just like on edge because I need to hold for the quick time events. Okay, we're pushing. I'm happy they at least let you know. My 
relationship with Jason should go up from that. <sighs> Fucking giant murder fuck bats. That's pretty reasonable, my dude. What do we get? What do we got? Is there any shinies? That door. Any other shinies? Because I haven't been looking as thoroughly as I think I should be. Do I not have Q anymore? God damn it. No, I'm just supposed to go forward. I don't like that fact. Okay, I guess we're just going forward. There's no shinies anymore. We are in technically endgame territory, so. Oh, I didn't realize we're Jason right now. Ooh, what is this? Looks to me like a medical bay. Ooh. This should come in handy. It should. If you want to stick 60 year old explosive in your back, be my guest. Well, I mean, somebody managed to use a 60-year-old shotgun. I mean, machine gun. And we fucking used a 60-year-old generator and lights. And we're about to fix a 60-year-old radio. Wasn't right? Let's take it and look at it. Ta da What do we have? Autopsy notes. Specimen contains an inordinate amount of blood in its stomach. Analysis of blood samples show high, shows high density of adrenaline. Does the organism feed on fear? Instills fear in its victim, gets adrenaline pumping, attacks? Interesting. Interesting. I mean, if they became scary, and I would be curious how that would have adapted. Like, biologically. Oh, ooh, shiny. Who is this person? Was this the Hammond dude? There's one of the, there's one of the, What can we look at with this man? Is there anything of use or interest? Is there any fun bits? Mr. Man? Mr. Man? Nothing good? Ooh, you have a nice shirt. Apparently not. We might be able to come back. Oh, we're Selim again. You wanna hear a joke? Nope. <laughs> Great. Hello! We're probably almost done with this game. Uh, I think I, I think a lot of people died. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have died. The camp is in an uh, is an uproar, workers are missing, and Lady Broad Bradshaw giant murder bats. But I can guess. She yearns for the same fate that giant murder bats. She wants to be giant murder bats. First of January, 1947. Yay! 1 a.m. I made you a moderator. The saboteur has struck again, sealing us in here. We are hopelessly trapped with those things. What things? All around oh. us, they shriek from the darkness. No problem. Dro has set up his machine gun, pointed towards the catacombs. We used it. Mary was right. Well, we cannot fight that which does not live. That is true. There is only one option now. Ooh. Bring the whole damn temple down on them. I thought so. It means bringing it down on our own heads. I thought that's what they were going to do. They cannot be allowed out of here. But somebody sabotaged the generator, the, the, the detonator. Which me leads me to think that um, it's possible Mary did it because she, or somebody did it because they didn't want to lose this discovery. No, it's the rest of Mary's patient history. So her, her pulse was going up, her temperature was going up, and she was getting more and more jaundice. Um, 
dangerously high. Subject mostly unconscious, occasionally wakes and screams. Sweating. Sickness continues. A saline supply low. Detected movement under the skin of the abdomen around the location of the adrenal glands. R suggests respiratory explored. R suggests explore, uh, exploratory surgery, but I fear M might not survive the operation. Um, at 810, temperature is 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Subject is weakening. More movement under the skin seen. Parasitic organism. Time of death a few minutes later. Interesting. I guess it must be a parasitic organism. I mean, that would be the only explanation at this point. Is there any more shinies? Any shinies that I'm missing? And my other mods are asleep. You didn't miss too much. It was like, we had like a big climatic, climactic like battle thing. Um, ultimately, I'm pretty sure, like, during this big ass battle, we found out that one of the, that the Iraqi commander was alive and a cunt and destroyed the radio that they were going to use to try and get out, to contact help and get out. Because they, uh, he thought that they were going to use it to call backup to kill everybody, but nope. So he died. Hold up, will you? I think because I told Rachel to try and go save Eric, that Rachel died. And because of that, Nick died. I don't know what happened to Eric, though, because I'm pretty sure that he should have survived. I succeeded on his quick time events. Yeah! We have Salim and we have Jason, which I... Honestly, were the guys I was preferring, so... So I'm, I'm happy that, um, I'm happy that Salim and, and Jason are still out. This is dope as hell. Oh, wait, one of my, one of my other, my, oh, hi, hi, lasagna. You're not asleep. Yeah, you are. Look, I can't tell. I get to keep his wallet. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why Cut was looking at him. He was a great A cunt. That's the asshole you were with earlier. Yep, that asshole. You didn't make it. Works for me. I'm his bad guy to deal with. Jason, watch your mouth. The time will come when you will deeply regret this manner. Yeah, in therapy with I PTSD. You will. You've just pushed them down. No, keep the wallet, dum dum. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Look, they don't need the wallet. We should keep the wallet. How else are we gonna buy slacks from J.C. Penny? Oh, I think this is the room that Nick would have been choked to death in, but he died already. Well, no, there was, like, green fire. This is pretty cool, though. This place is a jack in the box. I don't see the counter. Damn. This is really cool. I really, though, I really, really hope mean? they don't try and justify it with some sort of like stupid thing like hallucinogenics. That. Thank goodness someone put these guardrails here. The stores must have gone down. Mm-hmm. I don't think they made it back up. I don't think so either. Or it was all of those bodies that we saw. Functional. No. No? No. We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not yeah, we have been fighting against the mushrooms ever since we started. Up there, not down below. There's an army of monsters in the world above. The close fire. Crazy. Those vampires come from anywhere down there. 
We don't know. Find them at their own home. What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. Ye. Well, where the fuck else are we supposed to go, Salim? Goddamn. Like, do you want to try going up? Because it's pretty unlikely that we're going to do anything there. Do you think it would make the game worse if if it was just hallucinogenics the whole time? Yes. If it was just hallucinogenics the whole time, that... The part that I think is cool about this game is the monsters. And to by saying, oh, it's all hallucinogenics, just takes away the whole fun of the game for me. Like, I say it so much, but we have so little magic in this fucking world that can we please just keep it at least in our narratives? Like, for, for Christ's sake. Can we have a little bit of fucking magic in this world, even if it's fantastical? Like, why we gotta justi justify everything? I mean, really. Like, yes, there's a point, but when it comes to, like, narratives, why? An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. That's true, weird man. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? A lot of them. Let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen Sergeant K. Well, we don't actually know. I didn't know where they kept Nick. Seldom did tell the tale. The only person I can really Jason and Salim, sworn enemies, cannot be very active. Well, I'm trying. Unless that hatchet is buried in a bat. We're okay for now. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here. Oh no, this is a different mug. Plus, it, I usually make affogados. They're just good. No, I just have a lot of big mugs. It's America. America. Fuck yeah. So I guess that means we probably lost Eric and Rachel. Where the fuck are we now? What the f- Why are we in Little Hope? Okay, backstory. Work. Oh, are we going over what happened with Rachel and Eric? Oh. Why would you throw no. a cake? Fried. Oh, not a cake. Rachel Unless it's a fried cake. Like what we're expecting? Kind of little caviar. I mean, it's not exactly honeymoon material, is it? <laughs> fried cantaloupe caviar, I'm maybe. Certain somebody's saying that you wanted to go ice climbing. Ice climbing is relaxing. You're dead now. What is it? The guy who served me. I, I don't know. He was looking at me pretty strange. Well, he probably doesn't get to see a woman like you around these parts very often. Especially I think shower. most of them are dead, but to be honest, the scene with the big fight would Thanks. move very, very quickly. So I had a hard time keeping track of who died and who didn't. Nothing we should go. I know for sure Dar died. Um, and I'm pretty sure Rachel died because she like looked like she had her face eaten. I said I'll never again be as happy as I am now. What was that mean? Well, you're in Little Hope. You're not. You you're fucking near Little Hope, so I mean. Of course not. Christ. You know, my sole objective, Rach, is to make you happy. Sucks your marriage is gonna go down the drain. Yeah, Dar was the Iraqi commander. Who was somehow alive? So. And for some reason, up to that point, had not found any of the murder bats. And so, wanted to try and attack all of the Americans. Semper Fi. Means always war. I'm more than capable of. So it just ended up being. Nah, no bueno. That's how. See, never put your feet on the dashboard. Shit like that happens. Who do we have? Eric! He is alive! Okay, I'm happy with that. And we have Nick. I think we lost Rachel, though. Okay, so not everybody died. I thought I lost, like, most of the cast. 
I'll be honest, I wasn't too empathetic about it. Yeah, okay, now we know for sure Rachel's dead. Even better, Rachel's gonna turn. Unless we can find something to fix her, but it's unlikely. I'm curious how this is gonna go. Nick, I thought I lost you. I thought I'd lost you. This is so dramatic. Last time you guys are gonna fuck, you might as well do it now. No, she ain't looking too hot, definitely. Eric. Yeah, be best best to not do this right now. You have murder bats to deal with. Oh, sorry, undead kings. Go, Nick, go! <laughs> oh, he just went sprint. No, did you see that? Oh, look at him. He's Sonic fast. Oh boy. <laughs> Go, Sonic, go! Man, I thought we were nearing the end. I guess I guess I was dawdling. I I blame the tape. I blame how long it took me to find a fucking roll of tape. Lasagna, what do you think? Opinions? Going through all the rooms we went that we just went through. Oh. Eric, you better save this boy. Eric, you better save this boy. Help. Save the boy. Yeah! Rachel saved you. Pay it forward, you dumb bitch. Okay. Oof. Your mo Thank you. Thank you, Lasagna. I really needed that. I feel better now that you've told me this. Thank God. Thank you. Your commentary was incredibly important to me. The game is supposed to be- I was looking it up, I was trying to figure out how long it was gonna be. It's supposedly four to six hours. So, I'm thinking it's either gonna be like- well, it's been about an hour now. So, I'm thinking it's gonna be uh, potentially like up to another hour. Potentially? Yes! 426 whole fucking hours! Yeah, well... I mean, when you think of it in terms of a movie, it's a very long movie. Plus, this is like a super story-heavy. And story-heavy not in environment, but in like character, conversation, and dialogue. All right, let's find Kolchak. What are you waiting for? A written invitation? Let's go. It's time. It's absolutely not the time. It isn't the time. I keep playing this man. Nick, listen. No, 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 you listen. If I get killed down here, I want to know I stood up like a real man, not some chump. Thank you, Nick. Rachel, you, you said you'd tell him when the time was right. She did tell him. I need you to tell him now. Tell him the truth. You don't wear a ring because your marriage ended a year ago. Mm-hmm. She's right. It is time. It out for us now, right? Fucking now, yes. Now we may not have another chance. Rachel, just do it. The guys are trying to get you to just fucking cut Eric, like the fucking cord. God damn, you and I, we, even though we've already said this to him, but that was a long time ago. I still love you, Rach. Eh, eh. Puppy dog, please wait. This isn't about choosing. 
without knowing what's best for me. I want to start a new life. I can get you that. No. You can't. You can't, Eric. After we split, it took me a long time to find hope. This man gives me too much good loving. Nick is hope. Say nothing, you dumb bitch. We're not exacerbating this. I wasn't ever sure when would be the good time to use the say nothing option, but this felt like the right conversation. Rachel has been trying to explain this to you the whole damn time. It means something to me. It does, Rachel. Fucking, you need to work on your ability to communicate, because Jesus Christ, that's how your marriage went up in fucking flames. You gonna fuck this one up too, honey? Communication. Do it. 